finished cleaning upstairs and before I knew I was actually getting hot cocoa bombs from my friend Sue I ordered them from a local girl and she's gonna be delivering them very soon and I can't wait to see them I've just seen pictures and they all look so beautiful too and I was just telling Morgan about it and she's like oh my gosh mom I can't wait to try one I uh, so I cannot wait to get them uh, so I will show you those uh, when I get it here shortly uh, and I'll list her information in the description section if you guys are local um, and then what else today yeah so I'm gonna get the meatball started and the sauce you guys was so good even Mark was like this is I think so far your best sauce I don't know for some reason I got like a fuzzy my and um, I know some of you asked why I put sugar in. Sometimes I'll put a little splash of sugar, but I didn't this time, um, and I think it's perfect. Uh, so it just really depends. Uh, but I love, I love my sauce. I do a little bit of a combination of my grandma's recipe from growing up uh, to a little bit of what I've done as the years went on. I don't know what's in my eye. And, um, and then today we have another local person who had his own really I've taken you guys there many times um, during my my diaries of Karen years ago uh, for breakfast and for lunch uh, a cute little I don't know if you want to call it cafe or something diner and then he opened up a bigger one and then with all this pandemic and stuff he ended up closing but now he's opening up what is in my eye he is opening hold on guys So he's opening up a just a pizza shop and today at noon um, until they're sold out you can order and we're like we have to try it so i've got lexa reminding me at 11:55 to place an order uh so i cannot wait to try it and i'll share that with you too tonight so i wanted something easy since i'm going to be cooking uh the meatballs cleaning my mother-in-law is coming over for sunday supper club we're going to have the pizza but also i'm going to go over the menu for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and I'm gonna share all that with you guys too, uh, what we're gonna be doing. Um, you know, Morgan and Tony and the girls are coming in Tuesday night, so, um, you know, I just wanna have some just some stuff on hand too, just to eat, uh, even for Tuesday night and even Wednesday night. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of cooking the next few days. So I just wanna get an idea of what I'm gonna be making, get my grocery list together, because I'm gonna go tomorrow morning. I don't like to go during the weekend. It's just way too crazy. So I wanna get there early tomorrow, get what I need, and be done. So that's what's on the agenda today. So just looking at my calendar, and tomorrow is the delivery of the hot cocoa bombs. Not today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've got my, I know she offered either day and I'm like, whatever works for you. And in my brain, I was thinking today, even though tomorrow is perfect too. Uh, so no hot cocoa bombs today, but that's fine because I still have two of mine left from Sue that I'm going to enjoy. Probably one later today. I was going to have one yesterday and I completely forgot. So it's okay. Uh, so in the meantime, I've got plenty to do. I'm going to organize my desk. I'm going to go through some blog messes a little bit. While I organize my desk, I want to jump on um, Heather Baxter. She does every Friday, she does a Bible study, like a live Bible study on YouTube, but she records it. So I am going to go listen to that and just listen in this morning um, while I do some organization on my desk. And then uh, I'll make the meatballs. Uh, head upstairs. Mark even said I'll take a break from my work because he has all his work laid out on the table. Does it every Sunday, you guys know. And he goes, I'll help you. I'm like, okay, great. So we'll go upstairs and, you know, finish just, you know, I like to just make it nice and perfect for uh, when the kids come, especially with the babies. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and start getting my menus together. So a lot to do, but hot cocoa bombs are tomorrow, not today, which reminds me, oh my goodness to go grocery shopping which means i gotta get my butt at the grocery store done and home before she drops off those so that's good i got that in my mind so i can get prepared even now for tomorrow okay i'm gonna finish my coffee 
get organizing, watch some Vlogmas videos. Oh, actually watch my Bible study from Heather Baxter and uh, we'll check in and here in a little bit. I'll share with you guys. I love this cozy corner um, on YouTube. This is on my TV. So I'm gonna listen to Vlogmas videos on my laptop. But I just love having this in my background. There's so many of them. And once you start subscribing to them, they will start to pop up in your feed. Oh, this is just so pretty. I'll share with you more throughout the day. First batch of meatballs are gonna go into the oven and then Mark just made us some French press coffee. You guys, there's nothing like it. If you guys have a French press, tell, let me know your thoughts if you guys love it. It's like such a good cup of coffee. Such a good cup of coffee. And then, oh, Mark and I, and we, God bless him, he's like the best helper on the planet. We went upstairs and just went to town up there. We cleaned, you know, I just really Windex. We moved all the furniture and vacuumed just, just to get it because I mean, no one lives here anymore. So except for Mark and I down down here. And when I wanted it so spiffy and so clean, um, I'm putting a different set of sheets on the one bedroom to make them like more of a warmer, wintry sheet. And then I'll, maybe I'll show you guys. I know someone said, I've never seen your upstairs before. Nothing fancy, trust me. Um, but just some furniture we put together once all the kids took their stuff and went off to college and whatever. But I'll show you that later. Um, but I'll show you the meatballs. So what I do, you guys, is I like to roll my meatballs and some Pecorino Romano cheese before I put them in the oven. So this is the first batch. I'm gonna put the meat back in the fridge, enjoy my coffee, and then do the second batch here in a few minutes. I am finally sitting down after making, finishing all the meatballs. Uh, so that's done. Um, my friend Lisa, you guys remember Lisa? She stopped over with a big, big tray of cookies. And she made so many different cookies from the, than the ones that I already have. So I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> She said, if you want, I, you know, I just took these out of the freezer and she said, um, you can just put them back in the freezer. And I said, well, I'll, I'll do that. I'll just wait, you know, and bring those ones out when the kids get here. And Mark started digging into them. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not putting those in the freezer. So I guess he's been digging into those cookies. Me. They're so good. Oh my goodness. I mean, she made some totally different cookies than the ones that I have from our cookie exchange. So they are delicious. Um, so anyway, I finished wrapping up the meatballs and got them in their um, little uh, baggies labeled so I know how many are in each baggie. I made so many that I'm gonna, you know, use some of them for future dates, you know, down the road. And of course, use some on uh, Christmas Day. Uh, so I'm still finalizing our menus for, my mother-in-law is coming over for Sunday Supper Club. Maybe I mentioned that, I can't remember. Oh, by the way, the pizza guy that we were gonna get the pizza from, he, you know, you could start ordering at 12, and I went to call at 12, and they were already sold out. I'm like, okay, so there's another place around here that sells amazing pizza, and they have baked wings. I'm just gonna order that for tonight, easy peasy, so my mother-in-law and I can sit around, finalize the menu. Uh, so for sure we're having linguine with clam sauce, smelts, um, shrimp. I'm also going to make a pasta. Oh, the Amazon guy just dropped off something. And this one did not hear. I can't believe it. Oh, and he's grabbing a good goodie bag. Hold on, I'm putting this down. I don't want to, okay. I'm going to look the other way. I don't want him to think I'm looking at him. I don't, I, I want them to feel bad. Like, oh, he grabbed a goodie bag. Guys, I think I have three goodie bags left and I had 12. So, Makes me so happy. I had to make a few more. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Anyway, um, what else? What was I saying? Oh, uh, so the dinner for Christmas Eve was the linguine and clam sauce, smelts, shrimp. Oh, I'm going to make a pasta that has more of like a white sauce to not a he anything heavy for those that don't want the seafood. And um, wedding soup. No, wedding soup was for, we're having wedding soup on Christmas Day. I'll give you guys my entire menu for those two days, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, once I have everything finalized. I promise you I would do that. Maybe I'll do that. Matter of fact, I'll give you guys that tomorrow. Uh, and then the uh, hot cocoa bombs are coming tomorrow. <laughs> Gonna grocery shop tomorrow. So tonight is like get everything organized, get the list. Uh, you guys, we're so on top of the game. I mean, really, I went through this entire house 
and um, I'll do it again one more time before the kids come as far as like dust and vacuum and Windex the first floor, but upstairs is perfect. Oh, I said I'd show. Okay, I gotta finish one room up there with the sheets and then I'll film that maybe a little bit later. What time is it? Oh, it's 3.15. So once these dry, uh, the dryer, I'll make the bed up there, the other bedroom, and then I'll show you guys. Again, it's nothing fancy, trust me. But okay, I'm blabbing. I gotta get going here. Still been staring at these cookbooks um, for three days now. So I'm gonna get my paper and pencil and I'm gonna get to work. And here's another one of those channels. Look at how pretty, and it's getting darker. So it's making this room just so cozy with this on. I love it. All right, you guys. Well, this is one of the bedrooms. Again, nothing fancy. This was Caitlin's room, our youngest. Uh, so now this is one of the guest rooms, just a little vanity. Here's our hallway here. We have like a catwalk. You can see downstairs, look at all pretty. So you come up the steps, go to the right, there's Caitlin's room. And then, here's the tree upstairs. This is just like a little lofty area. And then, in here, is where a little uh, Capri's gonna be sleeping with mommy and daddy. Oh, my pillows aren't fancy. <laughs> okay, uh, Mark just put the pillows up here. That's okay, he's so cute. That's all right. So I don't know what, that, that's not really how I like the pillows, but hey, you know what? When your hubby is sweet enough to help out, I think it looks perfect. So this is the other bedroom. And bathroom upstairs. Again, nothing too fancy schmancy. Gloss wipes, bottle warmer for Capri, and paper towels and stuff like that because I took all the throw rugs, not throw rugs, all the towels and stuff just you know for sanitizing reasons. Of course they're gonna have towels to dry off and all that, but a rocking chair little twin bed here and I gotta put the sheet on yet on her bed and her little crib so this is the one room up here and here it is turn off these lights And these were why is it I've got three pillow covers three sets without um, a matching partner they got to be in my linen closet so I'm gonna go look for those but this is the upstairs our window looking out it is so pretty up here as far as I love the view you can see out you know our big high foyer ceiling and then you walk you know look over the catwalk and I think it just looks so pretty. Sorry about the blasting TV. Mark had golf on and getting table set and ready. He's going to pick up my mother-in-law. Look who's waiting for mommy. I don't let him up here because he can't go up and down steps. Like, you know, a lot of steps, so. So he barks at me each time I go upstairs, huh? You bark at mommy each time I go upstairs. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? <gasps> we didn't open up your advent calendar for the last few days. Oh, you want one? Can you get it? Get it. It's one that's open. Number 20. Look for number 20. It's open. <laughs> Go get it. Look at you. Right here, Arch. Want me to open it for you? Alrighty friends, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a vlog. Mark is picking up my mother-in-law, he's picking up dinner. So by the time they get here, I just wanna enjoy spending some time with her, uh, getting the menu together. And tomorrow I will share with you my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day menus. I gotta get some grocery shopping done. I don't know, whatever else the day brings. Um, I just hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you had a blessed Sunday. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the morning. Good night.
for my kisses, love for one special guest.